very sweet morning children welcome to our biology session now in today's session we are going to continue with the term 2 unit 5 the chapter set so till our previous classes we have seen about the structure introduction of cell structure of cell size shapes etc in today's session we are going to see about the types of cell so let's move on to the topic types of cells so let's see what are we going to see under this topic so under this topic types of cell we are going to see the prokaryotic cell the eukaryotic cell and the difference between the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cells now let's start with the types of cells so generally cells are classified into two types they are classified into two types one is prokaryotic cell which has no true nucleus and no nuclear membrane so the prokaryotic cell will not have the true nucleus and they do not have nuclear membrane and the second one is the eukaryotic cell which has a true nucleus with nuclear membrane is it clear children so what are the two types of cells they are prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell is it clear now let us move on to the prokaryotic cell so prokaryotic cell the unicellular organisms like bacteria okay so bacteria is a unicellular organism and they are the prokaryotic cells you know always the unicellular organisms are prokaryotic cells okay so unicellular organisms like bacteria are prokaryotic and it has no true nucleus in this picture you can see the structure of e coli bacteria that is escherichia coli bacteria in this bacterial structure can you see the nucleus inside no is it so you cannot see true nucleus in prokaryotic cell so this type of nucleus is called nucleoid but you can see the nucleoid material that is dna you can see but no nuclear membrane yes children so here this type of nucleus is called as nucleoid okay so the prokaryotic cells are devoid of true nucleus there is no true nucleus and in but they have the nuclear content in it that is you can see the dna in this picture isn't it so but they have the nuclear content and these cells were the first form of life on earth so this is the very primitive organisms they are the first formed life on earth the range size ranges from point not not three to 2 micrometer okay in diameter so this is the measurement of the bacterial cell is it clear children so you have any doubt in prokaryotic cell i'm repeating again the prokaryotic cells are unicellular organisms it may be like bacteria algae etc fungi etc okay so here you have you can see the picture given here is a bacterial cell that is structure of escherichia coli bacteria in this bacterial cell you, can you see the nucleus here no so there is no true nucleus but you can see the nuclear content the material inside that is the dna is present here as children so this type of nucleus is called as nucleoid so dna is present in nucleoid okay children so no nuclear membrane and it is around this nucleoid okay so these cells were the first form of life on earth they are very primitive cells they are the first form organisms in the earth and it ranges from point not not three to two micrometer in diameter is it clear 
so example is escherichia coli bacteria okay children so try to draw this diagram neatly next is we'll move on to the eukaryotic cell the cell which has true nucleus the cell which has true nucleus can you see the nucleus in the center yes so here they have a true nucleus and it is bigger than the prokaryotic cell okay so eukaryotic cell is always bigger than the prokaryotic cell and you can see all the cell organelles suspended in the cytoplasm it is a matured cell okay children so uh, try to differentiate between prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell so eukaryotic cell or well matured cells they have true nucleus and they have all the cell organelles within it and it is bigger than the prokaryotic cells is it clear children example is all plants animals and most fungi and algae they come under the eukaryotic cell is it clear next we'll move on to the difference between the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cell so in prokaryotic cell its diameter ranges from 1 to 2 micron the diameter ranges from 1 to 2 microns and in eukaryotic cell its diameter ranges from 10 to 100 micron so which is a bigger cell here obviously it is eukaryotic cell so from the size so prokaryotic cells are very primitive and they are very smaller in their size second point absence of membrane bound organelles and you cannot see any organelles that is any membrane bound organelles in the prokaryotic cell but whereas in the eukaryotic cell you can see all different types of membrane bound organelles within a cell is it clear okay now the third point nucleus is not surrounded by nuclear membrane can you see the nuclear membrane in the bacterial cell no isn't it so nucleus is not surrounded by the nuclear membrane only the nuclear content is there okay but whereas in the case of eukaryotic cell true nucleus is surrounded by nuclear membrane so in eukaryotic cell they have a true nucleus and they are surrounded by a nuclear membrane is it clear okay now the last point absence of nucleoli you cannot see the nucleoli here within a nucleus but in eukaryotic cell there is a presence of nucleoli is it clear children you have any doubt in the types of cell prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell okay so thus we come to the end of this today's session thank you children see you in the next session